Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today I'm bringing you two updates for the month of August. The first one is the Fun Size Pan Matte Palette. And the second one is going to be my Love Your Eyeshadows project. I always do these two together. I don't know why, I just do. It makes sense to me. We're going to start with the Fun Sized Pan Matte Palette. And this is a Pantastic Ladies collab. And it was created by Jackie Lutons. And I will have a link to the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group in the description box below. This year I am attempting to pan the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. You guys, this is very exciting. I hit pan. I hit pan. I hit pan yesterday. Actually, when you see this, two days ago, I hit pan on Wednesday. I am so excited. I'm really surprised that I hit pan here before I hit pan here because I've used this more often. Uh, but evidently, I went a little harder on this one. I don't know. If you look at the video, you can see the huge dips in there. I want to hit pan in shade number two so badly. So, so badly. Shade number one is going to be a while. I did not know how deep these pans are. They are very deep and I'm kind of questioning my life choices when I brought this palette in to pan this year. Uh, first of all, it's not my favorite. I've said that before and I kind of wish I would have chosen the other palette that I had in mind, but I didn't. So I'm making the best of it. I'm making the best of it. So here is a picture of what it looked like last month versus what it looks like now. And I used shade number one six times since the last update. I used shade two 10 times. Shade number three was used three times. And shade number four was used nine times. I will remind you what it looked like when I first brought it in. It had been used one time. And let's put up what it looks like now. I'm going to tell you the total uses I've had for each shade. Shade number one has been used 45 times. Shade number two has been used 63 times. Shade number three has been used 41 times. And shade number four has been used 55 times. That's what I mean when I am so surprised that I hit pan in shade four uh, instead of shade two, because shade two has been used 63 times. Shade number four has been used 55 times. I don't know. I do use a little bit denser brush. I use a very fluffy brush when I go into this shade, shade two. I use a very uh, fluffy brush because I use this as my transition. On the shade four, I use a little bit denser brush, a little more dense, denser, however you say it. Um, and I, maybe that's why I hit pan before shade two. I don't know. So I'm going to tell you my goals. My goals for next month is obviously to hit pan in this shade here. Hit pan in shade number two. Because it is now August... We know that I am not going to finish this palette by the end of the year. That was kind of my hope. It's not going to happen. I'm okay with that, but now my goals are to hit pan in every shade. I want to at least hit pan in every shade in this palette. So I have pan in shade three and I have pan, pan in shade four. So by next month, I'm really hoping I have pan in shade two and it's going to be a couple of months, but you know, hopefully I'll hit pan and shade one at some point. So, uh, think good thoughts for me. When I hit this pan, I was very surprised. It was surprise pan. I did not think I was that close. Um, I thought I had been close for months and I'm like, well, evidently I'm not. So I was really, really surprised when I hit that, that pan right there. And then, um, since expanded it when I did my look on Thursday. Okay, my update for my Love Your Eyeshadows project. At the beginning of the video, did I say pan those eyeshadows or did I say love your eyeshadows? Because I mess up and use the term interchangeably, it is love your eyeshadows, okay? Because I'm not trying to pan. But all of my rules are in the description box below if you want to look. Basically, the gist is I picked two palettes, two singles, and a super shock. I use them 10 times and I roll them out. 
Now, it does get a little bit more specific down there, so if you want to go down and take a little gander and read it up and see what my exact rules are, feel free. The first two shades I'm going to talk about both came in in May. You heard that right, May. I have not been able to reach 10 uses since May. Three months. Three months. But the first shade is the shade Currents. This is from the High Tide palette. When I depotted all of my, most of my ColourPop palettes, this is the shade Currents from there. I have used this shade three times since the last update for a total of seven uses. Now you can see if, if you've ever tried to pan a ColourPop matte shadow, they are very difficult to pan. Yes, this has more than 10 uses on it because I have used it previously, but it's really, there's hardly any dip in there at all. The second shadow that has been in since May is the ColourPop Super Shock in the shade Obvi. And I'm going to swatch that for you. It is a very, very pretty green shade. That is what that looks like right there. I have used this twice since the last update for a total of four uses. Four uses, you guys. I don't have a whole lot of use on that because I do not enjoy it. I do not like green shadows. There are times I will wear a green. They're not my favorite thing to wear. Um, this is actually going to be decluttered. It is going to be decluttered and I am going to send it to a friend. Have I reached my 10 uses? No. No, I haven't. This is also rolling out. Have I reached my 10 uses? No. It is my project and if you read the rules, I reserve the right to roll out anything that I am not enjoying and I am not enjoying those. So they're both getting rolled out. As I said, this is going to a friend who is going to enjoy it and love it way more than I and going to get so much more use out of it than I and I would much rather give something away to someone who's going to love it uh, when I don't love it. The next item came in in June and it is the Sydney Grace shade called You Have Me. It is a brick red shade. I have used this a total of 10 times. I do not know how many times I had used it previously. Uh, since the last update because I did not put a mark there because I'm such a good panner. I did not put a mark there. I was thinking that I had five uses on it and I needed five more. I don't know. Uh, I wore it every time I did a like warm neutral look, which was just about every look I did this past month was a, a warm neutral look. I had a couple of uh, odd men out that were not warm neutral, but for the most part, warm neutral looks. But that is what it looks like swatched. It is very pretty brick red. It worked, went very well with the two shades in my palettes. I'm gonna show you those right now. Both of these came in last month. And the first one is from Il Maquillage. It is the Color Boss, Color Boss Quad in the variety of Game Changer. And I rolled in, randomly rolled in, this shade right here, which is called Endgame, and that is such a lovely brown shimmer. I enjoyed it so much. I did use it all 10 times this month, so yay for that. So that will be rolling out also. Such a pretty shade. It's more of a satin than a shimmer, honestly. It's more of a satin than a shimmer. Um, I was able to use that in my crease even a couple of times. Uh, one thing I wanted to say about the Sydney Grace, um, Sydney Grace is another one that I will never try to pan a Sydney Grace shadow. I have used this 10 times and it doesn't look like it's been touched. You can see on the B-roll footage, it doesn't look like it's been touched. So I will never try to pan, actually pan, a Sydney Grace shadow. No thank you. At least not a matte. I don't know about their shimmers, but not a matte. No thank you. Okay, the last palette, uh, the second palette, the last shade that we're going to talk about is from the Spoiled Lips Little Fox palette. Uh, it is volume 15. I don't know if it's called Little Fox. That's what I call it. Shade number eight was randomly chosen. 
I used this also 10 times since the last update. You can see that the lips, the detail on the lips has been worn away. Uh, these are very pigmented shadows. I have really loved this. And um, I do not have B-roll footage for when I brought them in. And I normally do. I normally will take video as soon as I'm done filming my update of the things that I bring in. I will normally film those for whatever reason I didn't. Uh, but they were both untouched. They were both brand new when I rolled them in. So really there's the use that you see is the, is the total use. The disturbance that you see in the pans, that is the total use that I've had. Okay, so this was our color story last month. And I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed using these three. I loved, I use them all together every time I use them. And I use them when I used this palette here because they went very, very well with it. Also, I have the Morphe 350 in one of my projects to use No Pan Left Behind. And these went very well, very complimentary to that palette as well. So since I said I was rolling this out, uh, I am sending this to a friend and I met my goal on these three. We're doing a complete refresh. Yes, you may say you're a quitter. You know what? I used this seven times and I used this four times total. I did get some use out of them. I did. So we're doing a complete refresh and I'm very excited about this. It might bite me. It might come back to bite me. It might but it might not, it might be amazing. So let me move my shades, my shadows out the way. So I am bringing up my wheel of names and I am going to open my palettes and we're going to draw two palettes. Okay, all palettes, are we ready? Think of thoughts, think of thoughts. I'll have it right up here. The first palette Huda New Nudes. Yay. It doesn't really matter what shade it gets chosen. That is a beautiful palette. Yay. So we're going to close that out and draw one more. Wet n Wild Color Icon Camo Flaunt. That is a really good one. And uh, I haven't used that in a very long time. Okay, we're going to go over to the single pans. Those are all of my singles. And we're going to choose one because I choose one from my regular singles and one from my ColourPop singles. Give Me Glow Pool Party. Oh. <laughs> it is very pretty. It's gonna be in a while. It is blue. Okay, remove that, save. Now we're going over to my ColourPop singles and choose one. I9, I9. I don't know what that is. Um, I will show you when I go grab my palettes and all of that. Well, when I come back, I will show you what I9 is. I will show you in my palette. Okay, we're going, oh shoot, I should have removed that. Oh well, I'll do that later. And then we're going to open the Super Shocks. And let's choose our Super Shock. Low 70s. Hmm. I don't think I've used that in this project. I can't remember. I'll, I'll know when I see it because I believe the, the if, I, if it's the one I think it is, I think I hit pan in it. So we'll see. We're gonna remove that and we're gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna get those items, bring them back. We'll do our random number generator for our palettes and then we'll see our final color story for this month. I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm a little nervous. Don't go anywhere. I have all my palettes. We're gonna look at I9. This is my, these are my depotted ColourPop singles. This is one of them. This is the, the smaller pan size and not the larger pan size. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back. This guy goes here. I can't remember where this one went. Anyway, I-9. I... I-9 is purple. So you can see that there's letters at the top and numbers at the side. And that was the easy, that was an easy way to uh, organize them and put them in my wheel without having to go through and put in every single shade name because that's crazy pants. And then the shade pool party is this right here. Ugh. So pretty. It's so pretty. You guys, I am not a blue. I'm not a blue shadow person. So why do you have them? You ask? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, because I like looking at them. I think that blue eyeshadows are so beautiful, especially the shifty shades. And I will swatch that in just a minute so you can see how beautiful it actually is. But right now, we're going to choose the shades in our palettes. This is the Huda New Nude. It's funny because I just completed this uh, for my No Pan Left Behind. Okay, so this has two glitters in it. I will not be using those. So if they choose a glitter, we are going to redraw. But there are one, two, three, four, five. There are 15 shades in this pan. So we're going to do one through 15. I'm going to open up my pretty random app and I'm going to do one through 15. And let's choose shade number 13. That is perfect. That is perfect. That is this shade right here here I think no wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen it's this shade here perfect that's also per anything in this palette would be perfect except for the glitters um they would that would be perfect because I love that palette and I've used every shade in there besides glitters okay so this is the wet and wild camo flaunt I bought this uh, after watching Tati use it and I said, oh, that's really pretty. I got it. I love it. I haven't used it in a very long time. Again, we have a glitter in the middle. So I will not be using that if it happens to be chosen. But we're going to put one through five. I should probably put one through four. I'm just going to do one through five. Why not? Why not? One through five. Shade number four. That is this shade right here. All right, so let me swatch these. This is a this is a very unique color story. Very unique color story. But not terrible. It's just a it's not shades that I can always that I can use all of them together. And that's fine. That's okay. But I did say Sometimes it bites me in the butt. So the ColourPop single that was chosen is called Trainwreck. And this is from the uh, Lilac You A Lot palette. So it's a light purple shimmer. That's it right there. That is the New Nude. That is the Camouflant. That is the Lilac. This is the Pool Party. so pretty. Oh my gosh. I guess for the end of summer, it'd be all right. That's the pool party. My swatches are terrible. And then we have one more and that is the super shock that was chosen. It is low seventies. It is not the one I thought, the one that I thought was born in LA. That was one of the first ones I had in here. This is what it looks like. It is a very light orange peachy shade. Okay. So this is our complete color story. That is the New Nude. That is the Camouflant. This is the light purple from the Lilac You A Lot palette, my ColourPop single. This is the Give Me Glow Pool Party. And this is the, uh, what did I, what was it? Oh, Low 70s, Low 70s Super Shock. That's what that is. So it is a different color story this month, but I, I am, 
I'm going to be stuck with a green or a blue every single time. I just know it. Because the panning gods don't like me for whatever reason. Let me know in the comments below if you are trying to pan an eyeshadow, if you're struggling, if you're having a hard time with it. Girl, same. Girl, same. Let me know your struggles, your celebrations. Uh, let me know it all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.